Hello, how are you today? I am going to show you how to use Liquify in Photoshop. So this can be really handy if you are wanting to use one motif or a few motifs in a pattern and you want them to look just a little bit different. Um, you can always, of course, rotate your um, motifs around and that sort of thing. But this is a, another way to get more motifs out of the one that you are happy with. So we're going to go up to filter, and we're going to come down to liquify. And then it gives you this brush here, and you can change the size and pressure over this way. But what you're going to do is you're going to kind of push, um, click and drag the mouse and it will help change the shape a little bit. So it, it can look like you've got more than one motif, more than one painting that you've used. The tricky thing is, is that if you overdo it, it can end up looking a bit funny. So if you drag too much, it might look a, a little bit strange, and that's what's going to undo. So I think the trick is to use it sparingly and remember to control Z if you've done something you don't really like the look of it um, actually undo it and then just keep going so we will keep going with this one for a little bit just want it to look a little bit different to the other one and I'll press OK and then that's it changed I'll just grab the other one and we can compare them for you so this one is the original and this is the one that we've changed. So they still look pretty similar, but they're not exactly the same. So they might look a bit like you have painted two different motifs. You can see I've changed the petal here. Um, this one's up a bit more and some of the inner stripes are a bit different. So it's really up to you how much you change it. I like to just tweak them a little bit. You might like to change it more. You can always make the brush a bit bigger. Oh, that's way too big. A bit bigger as you go to change it. And that will kind of make some bigger, more obvious changes. But I find that this can sometimes warp it a little bit too much. And I'm because of of the watercolour, I'm not really going for a warped effect, but if you have, uh, with watercolour, it, um, it changes the paper texture background, but if you are using Procreate motifs, this could be a good, a good way to get more out of them. Um, if you like the warped look, then you go for it. It is all up to you. We go I'll click OK and now you can see that it is, it is quite different so it's just quite a fun tool to have in your toolbox when it comes to surface design